Hi. Likewise, we had some brief of common control channels and shared channels in the downlink in the last session. In this session, we will understand the common control channels and shared channels in the uplink quickly. So, common control channels in the uplink is called PUCCH. This channel carries the information of different users. Those are sending the information from device to the base station. This information can be anything like scheduling of transport blocks and resources. Also, this can carry the feedback information which device need to be sent back to the base station like ACK or NAC information of the received data. It also tells the HARC feedbacks like what data need to be resent etc. HARC is Hybrid Automatic Repeat Request. PDCCH also takes care of modulation schemes which can be used by the multiple users from the multiple devices means if some user needs the higher modulation scheme based on his high data uses in the good RF conditions then the scheduling can be happened by this PUCCH in the physical layer. PUCCH also takes care of the PRB allocations because wireless network has the limited resources and that need to be distributed among all the users. So this is one of the important role that is handled by the PUCCH. CSI or the channel state information gives the information about the channel quality. This is important information because that tells how the allocation of resources can be planned for all the users. Also, if the channel quality is good, network will need the less resources to transfer X amount of information compared to transferring the same amount of data in bad radio quality conditions. PUCCH also supports multiple formats, depends on the OFDM symbols. These are some combinations which are being used to allocate the PUCCH resources in the resource blocks, means in the time and frequency domain in the physical layer. So some criteria is like how many symbols we wanted to fix or allocate for PUCCH, how many UEs or devices we are planning to cater with the cell, those all the UEs or devices normally multiplexed on the same channel. So in short, PUCCH is planned for any cell. So if short PUCCH is planned for any cell, then format 0 or 2 can be used. These uses less resources for the PUCCH channel from the PRB structure in terms of resource elements in time and frequency domain. But if the need is to cater many user devices whose data are about to multiplex in the resource allocation, then we require the long PUCCH and for that format 1, 3 or 4 can be used. This will allow more users to have multiplex resources in PUCCH from the PRB grid, means more users can be served also have the more resources to serve the users at the ads of cells. In other words, you may also hear that the long PUCCH gives more coverage and stability. It is not because the radio coverage increases. It is because having the more resources have better redundancy and ability to cater to more users. Similar to PDSCH, shared channel in the uplink means PUSCH carries the user data which needs to be transferred from device to the base station. The steps in the PUSCH are just reversed from the steps in the PDSCH. Means in PDSCH, user data comes from the higher layer like MAC layer and passes to the lower layer. But in PUSCH, user data or the transport blocks received at the lower layers at G node B like physical layer means from the antenna mapping, then resource mapping, modulation schemes, coding and rate matching, then the CRC checks and HARC indicators etc. In the next session, we will be talking about the RLC protocol layer and the MAC protocol layer which are being catered by the ODU Open Distribution Unit. So stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.